Well, I like to introduce myself nowadays as I'm a political activist, or should I say political actress. I am only responding to my history. It's just my experience have been a little bit more dramatic in terms of having lived through the Khmer Rouge genocide, the loss of my parents, having to flee my homeland as a refugee through landmines in 1979. When I was eight years old, before my brothers and I were sponsored to the United States, I am back in Cambodia uh, because it's home and the United States, which is also home, doesn't need another lawyer. Cambodia does. About a year and a half, almost two years ago, I found out that I have been charged with conspiracy to treason, not a light crime, and incitement to social disorder. So since November 2020 until now, I have been living under the heavy cloud of these serious charges of treason and incitement. And I have been um, attending court hearings on these charges. Uh, um, so this is my life now. It took a long, long time for me to even understand that they were focusing on the month of November 2019, when the opposition leader, Sam Ransi, had scheduled a return back into the country. I was at the forefront in supporting, in encouraging the Cambodians to stand up and greet Sam Ransi when he returns. So that, uh, that was the reason for these charges, um, which I learned um, later on. The charges of treason, the charges of incitement are shambolic against me and against the other 46 other individuals with me in this mass um, uh, trial, mass case. Everyone has been saying that the court proceedings are political theaters, and I agree, it is political theater. They're actors, those judges, those prosecutors, and they have to abide by the script written by the politicians. I may be forced into the political theater, but I am my own person. I have my own role. Okay, so let's choose the myriad of roles that I can, um, um, I, um, that are within my choice. The first time I cut my hair, I cut off my hair very, very short, almost cropped it. And the last time I shaved it off, in Cambodia, Cambodians shave their heads to symbolize grief and mourning. And of course, many Cambodians are grieving right now the state of affairs, the danger that we are confronting to the very life of Cambodia. I'm not exaggerating when I'm saying that we're confronting an existential question right now, in particular with the very, very strong, invidious Chinese presence. We're talking about military presence. So this is a very, very dangerous moment for Cambodia. And we don't have the democratic pillars, institutions to support and counter the very invidious, dangerous presence of Chinese, of communist China, because we don't have an opposition party. We don't have um, free media like before. We don't have a um, robust civil so society, vibrant civil society like before. So those three pillars are very, very important to democracy, to counter authoritarianism are not here. Are they, um, they're not only not here, they're suppressed and they're um, oppressed. They have been pushed away intentionally by this regime. And so one of the outfits, one of the costumes that I wore to court was as a Chinese peasant with the Manchu Q hairstyle. Because the Manchu Chu hairstyle from Chinese history, we know is a symbol of oppression. 
because the population was forced to wear this hairstyle. And so the outfit was again to draw the attention that there is unwanted dangerous Chinese presence in Cambodia, uh, which is a return um, to an era we do not want to go, which is the Khmer Rouge era. I have hope in this very, very, very dark, dark situation. If I don't have hope, I wouldn't be here. And hope is joyful expectation of good, but we have to fight for it. So I am doing what I can within the sphere and the platform that I've been given. The most prominent question before me is, is it right? What is my duty? What is my responsibility? I don't think about fear. I don't think about the consequences. I cannot be a silent bystander when I see injustices perpetrated on those around me. And in particular, when they're perpetrated against me, I have a duty, a responsibility to address those issues, address them with the means I have been given.